Hi, JD here again. Today I am in the bathroom trying to fix an old shower head. So uh, here is the new shower head that I purchased online. And those are the two plumbing tools that I plan to use. And this is the old shower head that's still up. So I will uh, bring it down and show exactly what the problem is and why I need to switch this shower head out. So let's turn it on. And as you can see, it's uh, not working very well. And it's, uh, it's shooting out the, the side, the back. Uh, it was even worse than this before um, when I last turned it on. But uh, I guess I don't have it on the right setting to show how bad it can get uh, with this shower head. So there's the issue. And, or I guess maybe I didn't turn the water all the way on to show how bad it can be. But um, there's a demo of the problem and now I will attempt to fix it. All right, first things first, let's take inventory of uh, the parts that came with this shower head, shall we? All right, we have the uh, shower head itself right here. That's the wand and some threads. Uh, this is the uh, connector piece that goes to the pipe on the wall. And there's a little bit of a, there's a cap on here that we can unscrew. And here inside we see there is a little filter that is attached to the rubber washer to help prevent uh, backflow and uh, dirt getting into the water line. Um, and down here is another threaded piece that will connect to this uh, hose. And the hose is also capped with these uh, blue pieces here. Um, and it's just a matter of removing the caps. Um, which is quite difficult to do with one hand. <laughs> but, um, yeah, once you get them off, uh, one end goes here, and uh, it would be this end, because uh, the other end would go here so that it can um, sit nicely on this uh, holder uh, so that the wand could sit there nicely. And so... Uh, it also comes with this uh, Teflon or plumber's tape, which uh, wraps nicely around each one of the threads or all the threads that there are in this uh, assembly. And uh, that's just to prevent any leaks, um, to seal it nice and good there. Um, and there you have it. So uh, next thing to do is to now take Part the old one that's up there and we can see there's some uh, plumber's tape that you can actually um, still see at the end there but uh, it's just a matter of gently using one of the pliers if you don't want to damage the old one for whatever reason uh, just give it a few twists you can use um, some cloth around the piece that you're trying to remove as you twist so that you don't um, cause any scratches on any of the pieces if you want to salvage them. All right, I'll go ahead and get started. Look at this old shower head and trying to remove this attachment here. I also tried um, fitting the, the new shower head in the hose piece uh, to see if it fits here. It fits, but doesn't uh, have the quite the right angle. Um, so I'm going to just remove this piece and replace it all together with the, the newer piece. And removing it is pretty simple, actually. I already removed it. I put it back on here just so that I can uh, show how it works. So um, you just pull this up 
and you just give it a twist and I didn't need any tools at all for this. It's just spinning it around a few times until it just comes all the way out. And there you see the Teflon tape or plumber's tape that was there before. And uh, this piece here you may not need to remove it. So this piece was not the problem. Um, so this can be saved for another project. Um, this down here, this hose connecting to the, the shower head there was probably the culprit. So um, I will uh, replace this whole unit here since I already bought this new shower head. Why not? So a quick note, I forgot to mention a pair of scissors is uh, also required if you want to make some nice cuts of the uh, Teflon tape once you've wrapped it around all the pieces that require it. So there's the new piece that has Teflon tape on it and uh, I already applied some Teflon tape to this side and uh, screwed it on in there. And so now uh, this piece here just needs to be uh, screwed onto that piece with the Teflon tape right there. And then um, this piece can then go uh, up there on the wall and screws right on to the end with the Teflon tape up there. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Just a quick note, um, this piece here should go onto this wall pipe first before you connect the uh, hose and the wand to this piece to make it easier on yourself so that you're not trying to turn this with the wand and the hose connected to it. So just hand tightening is uh, good enough. Um, you don't want to over tighten or have it too loose, but with the, uh, the uh, Teflon tape holding it together on the threads, there shouldn't be any leaks. So just tighten it good enough and at a point where you're happy with the positioning of this, and then you just slide the piece, the coupler back over it to hide the uh, Teflon tape for aesthetics. Um, and now we can um, put the hose onto that piece. So I picked up the hose off the ground with the wand here, and I'm gonna sit it in place right here. And I will go ahead and connect it to the threading. And it should just be a few turns. As I try to do this with one hand while holding the phone with the other hand. <laughs> and, uh, there we go, just hand tighten it. Um, and uh, should be good. All right, now that I have everything uh, hand tightened and installed here, I would just uh, take one final clip and show you how it all connects together. Um, I kept the old uh, rubber piece that was on here and I'm um, using it to wrap around this uh, new holder piece, uh, just for aesthetic reasons, um, to cover up the Teflon tape connection that's here. And um, what's nice about this new holder is that I can um, angle it. So that's not just the threading moving. It uh, actually allows for me to reposition it because it has a rotating capability, whereas the, the old one did not. So I can angle the shower head however I want it and then uh, just put it in place there. So there we have it. Uh, everything is nicely connected and I will turn it on to show how it all works. And voila, no leaks anywhere. We have no leakage coming down the back of the hose, but uh, the problem with the old one there could have been solved with just some Teflon tape wrapped around the back end of the hose and the wand, 
um, the other problem was not so easily solved, which was water running out the sides of the shower head. So that was what prompted me to replace the whole shower head itself. So there we have it, no leaks coming out of the sides of the shower head. And I'm very happy with this new one here. Um, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe. And uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.